Hi, this is Al. Got another uh, solar update. Uh, some of you who have been on the channel for a while remember the original uh, Harbor Freight uh, panels that I put up. Those were that first row and that second row up there. And, uh, and then, uh, so we had that row, this row, this row, and this row. And uh, I had a coupon the other day for $130. So I've picked up a few more panels and I added them on. Uh, this time I used a uh, FUBAR protocol. Uh, actually showed me uh, these uh, super struts. They're galvanized. Uh, it's a really good way of using it, uh, a mounting system uh, versus the uh, treated wood, which uh, you know at some point in the future I guess I'll, I'll replace. But uh, you know, the treated wood is warranted for 20 years, so I don't think I'll have to worry about that for quite a while. But the day that I do, you know, this is a lifetime kind of investment. But anyways, they're very easy and light to use. And uh, so I added, uh, they come, these super struts come in 10 foot lengths, and you can fit nine panels on each one. And then at the end there, I kind of ran short. Uh, obviously, I had, uh, you know, one extra panel here, and I just cut another piece of super strut and put it on there and then I used uh, uh, this time uh, regular three quarter inch uh, conduit, uh, PVC conduit and uh, the ends are all siliconed in uh, for where I went in and uh, the rest of the the uh, connections are uh, or all the connections are actually wire tied instead of using the bus bars and screws uh, which somebody you know suggests is probably not the best method so anyways um, I've always used bus bars, but you know, not on this kind of an application and, and doing it the way that I did. So, <clears throat> um, I took them out, except for that one over there still has the bus bars on it, and I actually checked it and they are in perfect condition, they're not corroded, I mean, they're, they're just perfect. So there's no sense in, you know, messing with that. This one here I did change, uh, simply because I had to tie the other panel in, so everything's coming into here and then goes over there, and then from there it goes to, to my shed. Uh, so right now, I have a total of 68 panels, so I have uh, 7 per row, and there's 4 rows, so that's 28. And then there's, at the end there, there's 10 more, and 10 more is 20. Oh, I guess I have more than that. So 10 and 10, I'm sorry, 9 and 9 is 18. There's 9 on that row, 9 on that row, 9 on this row, so that's 27, and then 1 over there, that's 28. So... For a total of 68 Harbor Freight panels of 15 watts each, um, and that's, you know it's it's a way to slowly when you get you know a couple of dollars just go ahead and expand. Uh, I got I got plenty of roof, so I don't have to worry about whether they talk up, take up a lot of room or not. Uh, you know, there's a lot of people that don't like them. I don't know on a price on a on a just price per watt perspective, they're more expensive. Than if you went out to Sony Electric and bought them there. And as a matter of fact, the rest of my panels that I purchased that you can see up there, uh, you know, those are my Sharps and uh, DuPont panels. You know, those, those are a lot cheaper on a per watt basis. But these are just convenient and uh, just easy to put up. Uh, they don't weigh hardly anything. Uh, and it's just a good way, you know, you get 100. 30, 140 bucks, boom, you know, add a little bit. So it's an incremental kind of thing versus having to order two panels at a time plus shipping. You know, it does, uh, you know, when you factor that cost in, it's, uh, it's still a little less expensive, but it's not that, that great uh, uh, a difference if you're only buying two. You know, obviously you probably want to buy a whole bunch of them at a time. I got to pick this up here. So uh, something that, uh, it's been happening here in Texas is that we've been in a uh, drought, very severe drought. And so now I clean the panels and it's like every week I have to come up here and clean them again. I just cleaned them last week. And uh, these are the panels from last week and you can see all the dirt and grime on, on them already because the air is just laden with dust right now. And so that cuts down on your ability to uh, produce electricity. Uh, we've been praying the last two, three days for rain, 
and lo and behold we got up today and look at the sky and we got a little bit of drizzle so we need to continue our prayers the Lord will provide us rain because he never ever ever says no to uh, us when we pray to him with faith I just believe that he's gonna bring it and yeah, he does he, he just does he brings it it's just every it's uncanny uh, it's every time that we sit down as a family and we pray for something he comes through it just uh, you know our faith in the Lord it just uh, grows by leaps and bounds when we see his goodness all around us uh, but anyways uh, uh, <clears throat> something that, that occurred uh, was that I, I purchased this uh, wand that has a brush on the end to wash cars and you hook up the water hose to it and the water comes out of the end well the problem is my panels over there are so long that I couldn't reach the top uh, with that extended because this actually uh, comes up and you can uh, take this piece here I'm gonna probably be out of focus for a little bit but you could take this piece here and uh, unscrew it and then raise that out and tighten that back up again and now you know it's a lot longer but even with that it still wasn't long enough so what I did is I have a, a bunch of three quarter inch uh, PVC tubing and some pieces of one inch I got a piece of one inch and I just adapted a piece to the water hose and now I can reach so uh, it works out pretty good for those of you who have solar panels I need to clean them uh, excuse me while I do this it's a really good way of doing it it has a switch up here that you turn on and you can hear the water and you can see the water come out so you can grab this very easily and just uh, wash your panels so anyways uh, I'm gonna give you an update in a little while with the output as soon as uh, we get some sunlight but I just wanted to uh, just kind of give you an update of how I bolted that down. By the way, I used, um, uh, hang on for a second. On these uh, panels here, I used uh, some quarter inch, uh, quarter 20 uh, steel screws. And those super struts have these things called spring nuts. And you put it in the channel and then the bolts uh, bolt onto it. And then I just used uh, regular fender washers. Uh, to hold them down. It's a very, very secure uh, way of mounting them. So I really uh, have to thank Fubar Protocol for, for that. Uh, he did a great job uh, with his panels and uh, really gave me a good idea for these. Uh, I just had the hardest time finding them here in, uh, in our town because I live in a small town. But once I located them, it was a snap. So uh, thanks everybody for watching. God bless and take care.